Um, I want to talk about something maybe a little bit controversial. I want to talk about hackathons, but I want to talk about forgetting about them <laughs> for a moment. I know it's hard. I know this is, you know, this is an event about hackathons, about MLH. It's kind of what they do. Except for this, this is a conference, but, <laughs> you know, I want to kind of talk about the elephant in the room, and, and Joe was kind of already talking about that, which is, are hackathons life? You know, do you really want to be that CEO at a company that needs 20 Red Bulls overnight to stay awake? Probably not. Like, that's not a healthy lifestyle. You kind of end up looking maybe a little bit more like me. <laughs> um, but the second thing is like, is life studying? Is it is it about all about studying? Is that what you're going to be doing? And unless you're you know going to do a PhD, you're probably eventually going to leave academics and you're going to move on and do something else. You know, there's some people who are like, no, screw it, I'm going to do a PhD. I'm just going to stay with that. I'm going to forever stay in academics. So what is life really about? Like, what is what is what we take away from hackathons and what we take away from other events that is important? And I think. I think we were kind of already highlighting before that it's it's all about learning. It's about keeping, you know, keep learning, keep learning as you as you grow older, but keep learning as you stop doing hackathons. So Melinda already talked a little bit about hacks. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it was, it was a big hackathon. This is about a third of the crowd. There's like another semicircle kind of under the under the um, upper balcony there. It it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. Uh, Mel makes it sound like we knew what we were doing. <laughs> we didn't really, but we had a we had a really nice slogan that you might recognize because I think MLH has over time adopted the same slogan, uh, which is learn, build, share. And it sounds so simple, but it is very much grounded in the idea that you know the fact that we didn't want to just have a hackathon where you could hack. We didn't care whether or not you were a 16 year old with eight years of programming experience going from here to here, or if, you, or if you were an 80 year old with no programming experience going from here to here. It was about the idea that we were all learning together and we were all learning and teaching each other valuable lessons and we were all making that little change together. And to me that's grounded in the idea that how we learn determines how well we learn. Um, because the world is more than just hackathons, right? It's more than just students, it's more than just developers. The world is full of people you're probably going to have to work with. It's full of designers, it's full of managers, managers you might become, founders of companies that you might work with or become, but it's also full of cooks and accountants. People you don't feel like you have much in common with, but people that you, over time, will need to work with. And the problem is, how are you going to relate to cooks and accountants is the, if the average weekend you spend makes you look like this? <laughs> so, about me, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the occasional event organizer, I'm currently doing DevRel consulting, I'm ex-PayPal Braintree, I'm maintainer of the HackBay Manifesto, and a maintainer of the Hack Code of Conduct. And I'm going to talk about learn, build, share. So I'm going to make it into three parts. Learn to build, build to share, and share to learn. Now learn to build is the stuff we're all familiar with. It's the traditional hackathons, the conferences, the meetups. It's the stuff where you go to learn new stuff that you can use to build more stuff. Because we all need to have more technical depth and build more things. Those are great events. but. I want to urge you to look at the other events as well. And the other events are the ones that kind of follow on from this are stuff like Build to Share. Now, Build to Share to me is about building stuff together that makes the world a better place, that, that shares, um, the outcome shares to, to, to a wider community. So an example for that is dedicated hackathons, like the, what is it, Code for Good, um, like Charity Hack, like any kind of hackathons for children. Um, or code clubs where you get together. Uh, who here is from not from the UK? Awesome. Uh, keep your hand up. Are you familiar with code club? Keep your hand up. Okay. So a lot of you don't. So code club is like an after-school program where you uh, where people get together and teach kids, children, um, primary school children, to program after work. It's a great idea. 
have a great website. There's probably initiatives in your town, wherever you live as well. Go look at it and uh, let's go generate. I know you all, in my eyes, you're all still kids. <laughs> um, but trust me, there's even younger kids than you out there and they want to learn as well. So go help them. Um, but there's also stuff like charity hacks. I already said like cook for good, but there was people used to run a thing called charity hack. And we came together and we tried to help charities actually we try to build new tools for charities that they could actually use. So rather than building the next million dollar thing or the next Yo app, you know, we would try to build something that was actually interesting. You know, something as interesting as Charity Shop where Tom kind of wired himself up to one of those electric buzzing clicker pens. He wired it to his arm and then every time he got a donation, he got a shock. It was hilarious. It was for charity. Uh, it was totally valid. I think I'm undermining my own point there. But the third one, the, the, the real point that I'm really excited about is share to learn. And Melinda already talked a bit about on conferences or as I'm personally more known to, about with them is bar camps. Who here knows what a bar camp is or an on conference? Oh wow, that's not even half. Cool. So an on conference to me is way more exciting than a hack. This is how it works. We all come together on a Saturday morning, we all write on a piece of paper, which can be a post-it note or a cue card or whatever, we write on a piece of paper, we write, I am going to talk about whatever I am passionate about. So I could be talking about hackathons, or I could be talking about Lego, or I could be talking about how to make the best carbonara, <laughs> right? I would write that down on a piece of paper, and then I'd say, in this room, at that time, I'm going to be speaking about that. And then we all take a step back, we all look at it, and we all go and visit each other's sessions. Now the nice thing about bar camps or conferences is that you don't just get tech people. Bar camp comes from the tech community, but you get people from all walks of life. In Bar Camp London, we actually do get accountants. And the accountant, he's actually my accountant, he actually, <laughs> one of the last ones he, he gave a talk, he brought his sushi, um, his rice cooker, because his wife is Japanese and he's lived in Japan in the past and he knows how to make really nice sushi, so he was teaching people how to make sushi. Uh, we have Ryan, who is a mixologist and he knows how to make excellent cocktails. Um, we've had the people who were involved in the OpenID project when OpenID was actually being developed come along and tell us why OpenID and OAuth are important before it was a mainstream thing. Those are really interesting different topics and quite often these topics are, these talks are really short, they're about 20 minutes, but people go through them really fast and you learn a lot from them. And because it's such a wide variety of people, you're not just learning technology, you're not just learning another thing on top of what you already know. You're learning exactly new things. And the nice thing for bar camps is there's kind of themed events, so there's like UX camp and bank camp focused around specific topics. And what I like about it is that's actually where Werewolf kind of got popular. Yeah. I can see some of you go, like, oh, Werewolf. I'm going to play this later. Um, so moving on from that, there's also meetups. Meetups are a great way to get started, uh, to kind of network with people that you might not know yet. But it's also a good way to start talking yourself. So if you're not a speaker yet and you want to learn how to speak, meetups are a lot easier to get started than big conferences because the crowds are smaller, the pressure is a lot smaller. And I would have to give a shout out to Thundercloud. Um, Joe and Melinda run that. Um, you should run your own Thundercloud wherever you are. Um, it's very much focused on small crowds, getting people who are not professional speakers to speak for the first time or the second time, etc., uh, and get them going. If you want to know more about them, talk to them. So as I'm an Apple user, I need to have one more thing. Um, and one more thing, what I'm interested about is hybrid events. So hybrid events is where you kind of start combining different steps of that process together. So an example is Hackference, which happens in Birmingham once a year, which is a hackathon and a conference. So you spend one day together learning about new topics and then we spend two days actually building new stuff. Over the air, it's a conference, a hackathon and a bar camp and a camping site and a bit of a grassroots kind of telco people coming together kind of thing. It's a really interesting, odd event, but it's it's all these different things together, it's a lot of networking, and there's a lot of people there that you might not know, that you, you would have never seen at any hackathon. 
But the other event I'm really excited about is, um, this has been going on for a while. It, it's still going on, but not in London anymore. The person who kind of came up with it doesn't run it anymore. Uh, but it's still going on in other places around the world. It's Design Jam. And it's like a hackathon for UX designers. So they get together, they all get one problem. Like the problem is like how to give bank cards to homeless people. They all, draw, draw, they all design a user, they, they come together in groups that they've never worked with before. They together design a user experience on how, what that would look like. And then at the end of the day, they present each other just the user experiences. And it's interesting to them because they learn how to design experiences in groups that they normally don't work with. Sounds familiar? That's exactly like a hackathon. You get to work on code with people that you might not normally have work with. And these events are interesting because they're, they have the same philosophy as what we have at hackathons, but they're just in a, in a diff different atmosphere. So next time when you start thinking about like, what event to run, think about the fact that life is more than just hacking. If you want to go and attend an event or organize an event, think that there's multiple steps. You want to make sure that people learn how to build. Building to share and sharing to learn. Learn, build, share. Go do it. Thank you.